Good, you're awake. Something's crash-landed over there in the canyon. I'm going to go hack into the ranger station cameras. Maybe we can get a closer look. Don't bother. Leave this to a professional. I'll just accelerate over there and check it out myself. It's hero time. Uh, go, mighty Omnitrix power. So, Gwen. What do you have from those ranger station cameras? Oh, check it out. I think it's a piece of the Onatrix. I knew there was some reason my watch wasn't working. This robot looks like it must have used your Omnitrix crystal to power itself. Now the only question is, where are the rest? Someone sent that robot knowing that Ben was weakened. We walked right into a trap. Check it out! I can take my nose so fast you can't even see it! I wonder if they know who they're dealing with. I don't get it. That thing knew us too well. Aren't most of Ben's foes trapped in the Null Void? That's what I'm worried about. Making Null Void portals is plumber technology, and nothing has ever escaped. Look! More drones! And they're attacking a group of Forever Knights. Forever Knights? Maybe Enoch is behind all this about getting caught between a rock and a hard place, whose butt am I supposed to kick? I think... all of them? Sounds like a plan. Tell me, what's going on here? Whose drones are those? We were making haste toward the area known as 51. Lord Enoch leads our campaign there to smite the off-world infestation. Enoch is taking over Area 51? He seeks only to emancipate it. Lord Enoch will use the technology therein to power a weapon of worldwide deliverance. To stop the Forever Knights is to deprive the Earth of its last, best hope. Enoch doesn't offer hope to anyone but himself. We should find him before he makes a bad situation even worse. Area 51. This is where the government used to do all its covert alien research. This place has sure changed over the last 40 years. From the looks of things, I think the Forever Knights beat us here. We can't let Vilgax or Enoch get at those alien weapons. If it's alien weaponry they're looking for... I'd be happy to light the way. You fools! I seek to forestall the coming cataclysm! Your meddling has now placed our entire species in danger! Cataclysm? What are you talking about? If there's a danger to Earth, surely we can help! None of you possess the strength of will to do what must be done to save humanity! But now that I have the Omnitrix Crystals, I shall use the alien's own weaponry against us! Fear the universe! Enoch alone spells your doom! Omnitrix crystals can be used in weapons? Of course. The Omnitrix doesn't just store DNA. It holds incredible amounts of latent energy. Uh, I hate to interrupt the science convention here, but Enoch's getting away. Hmm. In order to weaponize the crystals, First, he'd need to find a place to generate absolutely massive amounts of electrical current. Some place like... Some place like... the Hoover Dam? Why can't you just go on a game show like all the other know-it-alls? 
Does it come to this? The bad guys have run out of cool places to attack, so they just pick a giant concrete slab out in the middle of nowhere? Well, looks like he's not here. I guess the trivia princess loses again. No, he's here. He has to be here. Thanks for playing our show. We have some lovely parting gifts for you. Well, there's one more bad guy who's all washed up. Get it, Grandpa? He's all washed up? We should have gotten more information from him. There's something much bigger behind this. Hey, look! Hmm... Isn't that another piece of the... Matrix? Why, yes it is! Whoa, let's see who I got now. Oh, great! The Rolling Wonder? Try not to trip into too many enemies. Alright, we got a mystery to solve. Let's bounce. Uh, oh, oh. oh, no! Grandpa, get the door! I can't find my keys! Run faster! Hold on to your headgear! Twice in one day? What are the odds? Oh, everyone okay? Put it this way, I don't think things are gonna get much better. It's always nice to get in a good workout. Are we ready to go now? What? Are you kidding? Look at this place! You can't just leave all this junk lying around! Superheroes don't have to clean up their messes, Dweeb. It's one of the perks. Well, she does have a point, you know. You never see this in any of the comic books! Ah, San Francisco. I remember the summer of love. The plumbers fought a whole phalanx of nitromancers down on Hate Street. We saved the city, and all those hippies could say was, Oh, far out, man. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to some peace of my own. I'm gonna check out the latest games at the arcade, tour the chocolate factory. What about the art museums? The bookstores? The shopping? Finally, Finally a, a real, real vacation. vacation! Miss me, Tennyson? It's payback time. Kevin Eleven? What's he doing here? I thought he was in the Null Void. It looks like he found a way out and brought back a few souvenirs with him. It's time to welcome him home. What are you doing? For someone supposedly so smart, you say a ridiculous amount of stupid things. Well, while you were busy causing the world's biggest traffic jam, Kevin bolted into the forest and Grandpa went after him. Somehow I get the feeling that means I'm about to get splinters. Head shards. Kevin must have gotten Grandpa. Oh, you think? Now the question is, where's he going? Time to get some answers. You may have beaten me, but it doesn't matter. You're finally gonna pay, Tennyson. You and everyone else on this stupid planet. Oh, yeah? Well, next time, why don't you try picking on someone born in the same century as you? No, wait. Don't let them take me back. Save me. Oh man, just when I thought I'd lost all sympathy for that jerk, he meets a fate that he didn't even deserve. I don't get it. Where are all these null void portals coming from? I've got a theory, but first we need to be ready to face the proof. This problem is bigger than any threat we've faced, and we're short-handed. We've got to be... Hey, listen to this. The strange plant forms continue to spread all across the Northwest. Scientists believe it to be alien in nature. Stay indoors and avoid the infected areas at all costs. Guess where we're headed. I'm guessing it's not back to the chocolate factory or the video arcade. <sighs> Stupid alien plant life. What is this stuff? I'm a vegetarian and even I find it gag-worthy. Mmm, splug all gratin. 
When I was with the plumbers, we genetically crossed a slug with a Brussels sprout. Well, they didn't make much of a bioweapon, but you won't find a better source of vitamins. You feed your own grandchildren some 30-year-old failed genetic experiment for dinner? There is just so much that is wrong with that. Gwen, stop! Don't eat them! Oh no, Ben. This time I'm wise to your tricks. For once, you're gonna finish your vegetables. Not if they finish us first. Well, I finished all the yard work. Now where's my reward? They've reported another alien plant outbreak in Seattle. But don't worry. You'll have at least an hour to eat before we arrive. If this is a reward, I'd hate to see the punishment. Whoa! That thing is huge! It looks like whatever's been spreading all these plant pods around has taken root at the top of the city. And I'm supposed to fight that? Think of it as revenge for every vegetable you've ever been forced to eat. It's payback time. Yeah, sweet! Another Omnitrix crystal. Let's see who I've got now. Oh yeah, I'm a mean green butt-kicking machine. Of course! That plant monster must have been charged up by Wildvine's DNA. This can't all be a coincidence. Why are all of our bad memories suddenly coming back to haunt us? Unfortunately, the evidence all points to one individual. Why? Why am I surrounded by utter incompetence? I gave up the valuable crystals I stole from the Omnitrix so that the Tennyson boy would be destroyed! And the miserable peons that I so generously entrusted with those crystals are unable to do anything but fail me! You, however, have done well! Retrieving the Null Void Projector was invaluable! Simply return to me the final item I need to complete my plans, and you will have both the Omnitrix and the boy to do with what you will. Yeah, All these rotting plants reek! Look who's talking! Don't you remember our talk about forearms needing four times the deodorant? Good job, Ben. Let's get back on the road. <laughs> All the places that we can camp, and you want to sleep at some creepy burial grounds? Hello? This is only like the most spiritually attuned location in the whole United States? Whatever. I think it's creepy. <laughs> Wait a minute. The superhero is scared? No, I just... Big scary monster's gonna come get you! <laughs> Ghost Freak? Oh, no wonder I was creeped out. Of course. I didn't understand how Vilgax got access to a Null Void projector. But if Ghost Freak is on his side... He could have slipped right past the plumber defenses. We better get to Mount Rushmore and see what's going on at the old plumber base. Besides, if we're gonna battle this growing threat from the Null Void and Vilgax, we're gonna need some extra equipment. Yes! I finally get to play with the big boy toys. So it's confirmed. Someone's definitely stolen a Null Void projector. All this high-tech equipment and you guys couldn't afford a burglar alarm? Psst, what were you guys thinking? The plumbers have the absolute finest security systems on the planet. There's no way anything could have escaped this room without one of these keys. Who says anything's escaped? <laughs> we're too late. Ghost Freak has taken the ethereal amplifier. 
What's that? Some sort of supernatural stereo? It boosts negative energy to dimensional proportions. Adapted to fit a null void projector, there's no telling how large a portal could be created. We've got to stop Ghost Freak before Vilgax gets his tentacles on that machine. How do we stop him? In all my years of fighting boogeymen, the best weapon has always been the same. Information. We'd better get moving. It looks like he's headed to the Windy City. I don't think anyone spotted us. It's so quiet here. Yeah, too quiet. What's that? Booyah! <laughs> Somebody need a helping hand? What? Did I scare you? No, they did. <laughs> You have done well, my Ectonurian ally. And one good turn deserves another. So much power! Yes, now go use it to claim the Omnitrix as your own, and finally rid us both of that insufferable brat Tennyson once and for all! <laughs> The fool thinks he is hunting me, but the hunter shall soon become the prey! <laughs> Thanks to your Omnitrix energy, the bodies I inhabit are stronger than ever! Ugh, so's your breath, but that's the least of your problems. Your little watch cannot save you now, Benjamin. I am beyond its power, and this time, there is no escape! Ugh, I need a vacation from my vacation. How about a little pick-me-up? Weird. The Omnitrix is finally at full power, but I can't access my other forms. It's like that last crystal had all its DNA stripped out. Scans are picking up vast traces of your alien DNA directly to the south. Let's go! If anyone's gonna use my DNA to wreak havoc, it's gonna be me. Uh-oh. Looks like there's a creature double feature playing at the drive-in. Well, get out your popcorn, cause I'm about to kick some butt. Mm, just when you think you're out of the dark, a bunch of creepy demented aliens try and take over your body. Ooh, look kids! A historical reenactment of the Civil War! Lame! Hardly! This is the side of one of the most important battles in our history! Oh, really? So what side were the space mutants on? Very funny. The Civil War was fought between the Northern Union States and the Confederate... Huh? <laughs> yeah? Tell them that! All these mutation experiments point to one man. Dr. Animo. That freak's got my DNA, and I want it back. I didn't see him. He could be anywhere. We'll have to split up. Gwen, you check the main lab. But... I don't want to be alone. <gasps> <laughs> ah! Gwen! Where's Animo? Where's Gwen? <laughs> Ask someone who cares, old man. We've got to track Clancy down. It's our only hope of finding Gwen. Good thing we brought along a big bug swat. Okay, Vermin. I'll ask you one last time. Where has Animo taken Gwen? You're too late. With his new base, the good doctor has all the energy he needs to return this planet to its rightful masters. And quite soon, your girl will be no more than just another mixed-up creature in his mutant menagerie. <laughs> Take it easy, Grandpa. We'll save her. I promise. Reports of giant creatures trashing New Orleans are all over the airwaves. Do you think Animo's new base is there? No. He'd want something more secluded. But it's probably somewhere close. You better corral those creatures while I try to track the rogue DNA to its source. Hope we get to Gwen soon. She's so gonna owe me big time. 
I don't get it. Some of those mutants flew in from the ocean. Does it even make sense that Animo would have a base way out there? Well, Clancy did say that Dr. Animo's new base supplied him with energy. Of course! He must be on one of those offshore rigs. The plumbers saved one from a space quid back in 1970. They never asked this, but is the rust bucket seaworthy? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's the original all-terrain vehicle you're talking about. But just in case, grab a couple of buckets out of the storage hatch. Avast, ye swabbies, and swash me buckles. Someone's gonna get a taste of my four-fisted knuckles. Ben, stay focused. This isn't a pleasure cruise we're on. There's some sort of subspace transmission emitting from this refinery. I'll see if I can track it while you find Dr. Animo. Oh, yeah. I'm proud of you, Ben. Your cousin needs you, and you can do it. <sighs> right. Gwen! Grandpa! Ben! So, I see you avoided becoming a hideous mutant freak. Barely. Too bad I can't say the same for you. Whoa, what in the world was Animo doing with a satellite communicator? Talking to Vilgax. Apparently they're on each other's buddy list. Squidface is orbiting the Earth right now. He's planning to suck the entire planet into the Null Void. We are gonna need help. Lots of it. Come on, we're heading to Washington, D.C. Cool. While we're there, do you think we can get a law passed making it illegal for you to enter a kitchen? I swear, those things are peskier than Clancy's cockroaches. Hey, you creep old monsters! There's only one DNA freak allowed around here, and that's my cousin. Yeah! I mean, hey! Hurry and get strapped in. We've wasted enough time already. Hey, I did just smack down all those uglies. How about a little credit here? Gwen, compliment your cousin. Nice watch. Where'd you get it? Null energy levels are rising everywhere. Apparently, a large portal just ripped open over the National Mall. Should we stop? We have to get to Washington. I don't like leaving those people in danger. You two keep going. I'll catch up in a flash. And try not to embarrass me while I'm gone. More portals. All communications are down. No way we're getting any official assistance on this one. But how can we get to Vilgax out in space without the government's help? We could just go and steal some rockets from Cape Canaveral. Given the circumstances, I don't see why they'd mind. Don't be an idiot, Ben. We can't just bust into a highly secure space launch facility and... Grandpa? I can't believe this place is deserted. Most of them probably went home to be with their families. We have to get to the experimental propulsion labs. Quick, hang a right. Okay, we found the rockets. Now what? Get me my welding helmet. That's a pretty stealthy flying, Grandpa. Yeah, it was almost too easy. But we don't have time to worry about that. Ben, you keep Vilgax busy while Gwen and I destroy the Null Void Projector. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'll make sure Squidface has his hands full. Rest of the Omnitrix! Finally! I'll be whole again! Careful, Ben! That Null Energy is incredibly dangerous! The Null Void Projector is destabilizing! Without the Omnitrix Crystals, it can't contain all that energy! We gotta get out of here!
All right, kids. Looks like we're ready to finally get back to our vacation. Where'd you like to go next? I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Grandpa, you think the rust bucket can fit through a drive through <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa? Are we lost? Nonsense. I'm sure there's an exit portal around here somewhere. What's that up ahead? Oh, man. You've got to be kidding me. You did it, Ben! You actually beat all the villains a second time. Even I'm impressed. I guess you are pretty amazing sometimes. Hooray for me. I'm totally awesome. Now can we please get back on the road? Yeah, um... Uh, Grandpa? Are you sure we're not lost? About that, um... Tennyson! I will return! Rated E10 for ages 10 and up. All of your favorite alien heroes. All of their awesome superpowers. This fall, experience all of the out-of-this-world action for yourself in Cartoon Network's Ben 10, Protector of Earth, the video game. on the lookout for Ben 10 Protector of Earth video games coming to your favorite console and handheld systems this October.
The Earth is in danger. Can you save it? 